is uh, the same about my name is the same about the company the company that I represent uh, many of you are I would rather say every one of you would be experiencing uh, and engaging with every day of your life but I think I'm not very sure that my company that you know how many of you know Bharat Petroleum quite surprising actually you know better than me when uh, I didn't know Bharat Petroleum till I joined Bharat Petroleum uh, my name is Abbas Akhtar and I am the brand retail uh, looks after the fuel retailing part of uh, Bharat Petroleum among the leading lights of the brand and the private sector where you have uh, all the might of your organization the creativity to support you I represent a PSU who has to deliver at the same time a follow and to align uh, which uh, puts loss of constraint uh, 1976 when we were actually nationalized and kind of born from there today uh, we uh, are from the Kargil where we have a couple of pumps we are serving the army to the backwaters of Kerala we are uh, refueling about 70 lakhs people every day across this country we have uh, six and a half crore LPG connections we are 8 million fuel we are delivering every day with to, to and out of which you have recently uh, seen that most of the gas stations are covered with uh, Prime Minister uh, Ujula Yojana three crores uh, uh, such connections that we have recently released and we are targeting to complete it to eight crores so that's the expense we are working with when we have a legacy as big as Bharat Petroleum and when you have a, a canvas as large as the entire country of yours uh, the presenter was talking about the brand is nothing but consistency we have a huge challenge of being consistent across the network across the expanse and across the touch points someone earlier in the morning was mentioning that each one of us on an average represents or uh, I would say uh, experiences 44 brands Bharat Petroleum is one of those companies who has role to play in almost each one of those 44 brands we literally touch you from your head to toe we are part of your hair oil that you may be using it or the gel with the current generation uses to the bitumen of the road that you walk in and everything in between that you use as well so that's what we do that's what we consume it's been a very exciting and interesting journey but it's been a very challenging journey as well when you have a canvas of this nature coming primarily to my part which is a retail fueling we have more than 14,500 fuel stations the dealers of which have been appointed quite many back quite many years back and many of you know how the dealers appointment has been in past and therefore therefore we have a legacy and we have some kind of constraint how do we actually deliver an experience to a customer who actually doesn't want to deal with us despite the fact his life depends upon me you drive car every day but you don't want to stop at gas station you cook every day you don't want to call a gas agency to book a call you fly every whenever you fly in an airline you don't want to have a, a stopover for a fueling stop because that will delay you by an hour we are selling all those kind of product which is actually enabling you and helping you but at the same time we are also selling those kind of product we don't want to deal with I don't want to spend time with I have a consumer who is extremely impatient I have a consumer who is in a hurry I have a consumer who doesn't trust me much but he doesn't see my product as well but he is a consumer he would actually buy it but won't appreciate me I'm not sure 
whether you buy your fuel when you drive out by looking at the name of the company or you are buying a fuel because there's a gas station which falls in route to you or nearest to you and is the least inconvenient. So what we did was, if I can't give you a product which is different, maybe we can give you something, uh, a service differentiator we can create for you. And what we created was initially at a time when, the, when we were, people were struggling with the quality and quantity, we delivered a quality assurance. And we came with a brand, Pure For Sure. The Pure For Sure concept, we brought in an assurance of quality and quantity coupled with a service protocol at a time when the quality and the quantity were not trusted at all in this business. When it was copied by the competition, we came up with a service protocol altogether in which we have brought not only the quality and quantity assurance, we brought back a kind of service because this, there was in the mid 90s, urban class, urban middle class especially, was now getting to into, uh, they was used to a better service protocol. Consumer were demanding and they needed people that someone should treat them well at the forecourt and we brought con uh, a concept we call platinum. If, when we moved on from there, and we, we found out how exactly you are doing it, uh, some of the consumers, when we were working with our consultants, what else we can do, we found out that normally if a consumer, if you buy a product, if you are made aware of a product, we spend about 17% of your time on average to consider why should buy this brand or why should you buy another brand. When we check with our consumers, how much time will you spend when you decide which fuel station or which company would buy the fuel from, we got a shocker of the life because the consumer says they don't. People don't spend even a percent of their time thinking about from which gas station they are gonna buy fuel from. Now if that is the consumer I'm dealing with and I'm supplied to, what I'm gonna do uh, to create or draw his attention towards my gas station. And therefore we needed, uh, we, we went from creating some kind of differentiator in terms of service protocol. You guys must also be thinking that was being a PSU, these guys, they keep changing the price every day. How much of this is taxes? How much is the margin? Nobody knows. Every day you go to a gas station and you find a new price. And what kind of competition they have? We have only uh, three companies and not much of a competition. So where exactly the brand comes in? And therefore, uh, what we did was, we said, okay, in urban we can't do much of a thing, but maybe in, in highways. In highways you would be noticing that there is not much of a constraint of setting up gas station. So the private sector started coming in. And what they did was that, okay, these guys can't sell a cheaper fuel, I can give a cheaper fuel. And the transport segment, which is uh, very price sensitive, they may not be interested in the quality of fuel, but they say, okay, fine, I may be securing some kind of profitability, I can do it for my segment. That was a challenge that we were heading to, and we started losing market share on highways, especially on diesel. Uh, I'm, I don't have much of a time to share this uh, story because I'm getting a signal from Vijay that cut it short. I'll just narrate a story uh, uh, of the kind of uh, activities that we, actually, we did to turn around this highway segment back to us in just one year. You would notice that the, these truck drivers, they are actually away from their home for more than 20 days on an average in a month. These guys are driven by their transporters to buy fuel from a company who gives them the lowest cost fuel. But we develop a kind of uh, spots for, we said if the driver can be treated well, he could be a 
a game changer for us. Sorry, I'll take you uh, in a minute. Uh, it could be a game changer for us, and the trans and could guide the transporter to divert their truck to, to our fuel stations. We invested into the comfort of the drivers. When the driver is on the road, what you need is, is a safe parking place. We need is, is, uh, is a place to eat, place to freshen up, shower, get ready, connect with the family with the Wi-Fi, take rest, and then start his journey again. A very simple, uh, which is uh, an, an initiative that we invested in. And I'm, I'm very, and you will be very surprised to know that though we have a very large segment of format, we have about 160 such pumps, which we call it Ghar outlet. We cater caters to the specific need of the drivers. And in just one year, this segment, these 160 odd pumps have given a growth of 24% to us. So the small takeaway maybe, which we can talk about it, that we may not be uh, as, a, as, a, as a company which is such a large company, we may not be advertising, but we start touching the lives of the people in a small little way that gives you a small comfort. That could itself is a very brand, big brand bending exercise. Something we, not, we need not be talking about, but still we can touch many lives and help people in such a way and to grow your business as well. Thank you very much for the opportunity, ITM Group. Thank you very much for getting associated uh, with this event. Uh, I wish I could have come uh, earlier and listened to uh, the conversations that uh, we had, and I'll try to stay put for longer to many more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Asha. Thanks a lot. Uh, Dr. Snigda from ITM, can I please request you to present a little, a little thank you from all of us? And a beautiful picture, please. Photographer, please smile yourself. Thank you.